a welcome to Asian Gardens table. I grow sweet potato every year because sweet potato leaves and young shoots are very good leafy green to grow in summer and they are very healthy. The traditional way for growing sweet potato is let them grow everywhere on the ground. I have this idea for a very long time. I want to try to grow sweet potato vines on trellis like the other vine vegetables. There are two reasons for that. First, it will save a lot of space. If you let sweet potato grow on the ground and everywhere, they just take over the space for the other vegetable. In summertime here, it is very hot, humid, and a lot of rain. So it is great environment for sweet potato to grow. If I do not take care of it for a long time, it just grow everywhere. The second reason, if you let the sweet potato grow on the ground, when it rains and when you water the plant, the water will splash the sand or the soil onto the plant and the leaves and young shoots will get very dirty. Usually I have to wash at least two times in a lot of water in order to get rid of the sand or soil on the leaves or young shoots. By letting the sweet potato vines grow on trellis, the leaves and young shoots will much cleaner. This is the sweet potato vine that I have. After about one and a half month grow on the trellis, the shoots are very vivid and young and tender. To grow sweet potato vines on trellis, it is very easy. So what I did was, when the sweet potatoes start to grow vines on the ground, I pick out some strong and long vines and direct them onto the trellis. I set the string about three quarter to one foot apart and two vines on a string. I had about seven to eight strings for this sweet potato. I think for family consuming, three to four strings should be plenty because sweet potato vines are not very good at climbing on trellis. So every few days you come back and check the vines. If you see they grow away from the string, come back and twine the vines and the string together until the vines reach the top of the trellis because the sweet potato vines can be very heavy. When the vines reach the top of the trellis, I use a string to tighten the vines onto the top bar. Even the sweet potato vines grow very heavy, it will not break the string and, and fall off from the trellis. The sweet potato vines will hold the whole weight onto the bars instead of using the string. When the vine reaches the top, remove the tip. The May vine will grow a lot of young shoots. You can start to pick the young shoots anytime you want because the more you pick them, the more young shoots will grow back. Or if you prefer to eat the young leaves, then you can let the side vine grow longer like this and harvest the shoots and the young leaves. It will take a little bit of time for the vines really reach the top and produce a lot of leaves and shoots. But once they grow, they're really, really productive. Because sweet potato leaves and shoots, they are leafy green, so they don't really need a lot of sunlight to grow. Even the bottom part doesn't get enough sunlight, they still produce a lot of leaves and young shoots. Because we cannot eat so much, so I haven't picked them a lot. The side vine grow really long. When I pick them, I just pull out the side vine, pick them all like this. It doesn't matter how long you cut the shoots or the side vine because no matter what, the plant will keep on growing back. I have enough, this will be our lunch today. This is our sweet potato vines we just picked. You see that? Because these vines grow on the trellis, at the back of the leaves, you don't see any sand or soil or any dirty things. Usually I only pick the young leaves halfway like this. I usually don't use hand to pick sweet potato leaves or shoots because when you cut the leaf or stem, there will be some juice come out. This juice will turn sticky and black. After it gets dry and oxidized, it's very difficult to wash off. So usually I just 
you know, be careful not to let the juice get on my hand and use a scissor to trim the leaves and shoots. These will go to the composter. This is our fresh sweet potato young shoots and leaves and I'm going to cook it for lunch. I hope you find out the method I introduced here is helpful. Please subscribe to our channel to learn more Asian vegetables or visit our website at asiangardentoday.com. I will see you next time. Bye!